Andy, did you go to film school? Yeah, I went to um, USC for their grad program in production, which is, you know, kind of covers writing, directing, producing. Uh, and so, yeah, I did the basic, you know, film school experience there. So what did film school teach you? And then what did you wish that it had taught you? I mean, the biggest part of it is just suddenly being thrown into a group where, where you're, you know, you have to make movies. You, you know, you have these deadlines set for you and you have to produce stuff. And, um, and you instantly have a circle of other filmmakers that, that you're doing that could take, you know, if you're out in another city or wherever, it could take a long time to find these people willing to put in the same effort as you are into these, into making, you know, short movies and writing. And that's still probably the biggest aspect for me of, was just, you know, looking for that extra turn to, to be just jumped and thrown into production. And then, and then, you know, you find some mentors who are going to push you towards the kind of filmmaking you want to make or the things you're writing. And so, and yeah, you, you, you know, USC there, there's, you know, plentiful there. And I think that the big things I, I look at taking, you know, working with actors is, it would have, you know, the kind of um, education that you get with people there would be, I, th I, th I think it would be more difficult to get outside. You know, it was, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I suppose, yeah, there's always like classes you can take and other things, but I, I can't imagine, you, you know, that you get the same level you know, when, when you're th you know, with the people that you're working with there. So. What did what did film school maybe not teach you by omission or whatever? Just that was extremely important that you had to learn maybe the hard way or maybe not so hard through through word of mouth. But what was something that really might be better suited to be implemented into some curriculum? What would be the best thing? Is it access to funding? I, I don't know. I've never been to film school, so I don't yeah. know the exact curriculum. I mean, I don't know if anybody can teach you, you know, access to funding or, you know, how you figure out those those channels or, you know, there there's certainly some classes in that, and you know, I don't think I gravitated as much to to that side of of the program, but I mean, the, the bigger thing is, you know, it might not be something it might not be something they're explicitly don't teach it just is that it's not in the purview of responsible education is you know it's probably the risks that you're going to take going out and making small movies both from you know whether it's financial or um, you know the, the lying cheating stealing aspect of it you know that that the, nobody would encourage you to do that, but that is, you know, part of it. Whether it's just convincing people to let you shoot in some place that you're not supposed to be, or having, I, I not, or you know, having the wherewithal to say, yeah, I'm going to shoot here because, you know, and there might be some consequences, but we'll, we'll try to do it. I think the, you know, that gets lost a little bit in terms of you know, the, the level of production. I, and, I, and I think th even beyond that, you know, and I might have been on the cusp of the change, you know, I don't know what it's like now, but things were still geared a little bit more towards kind of higher priced, you know, what is a larger production look like, um, even for short films, you know, a large crew and, and all these things versus, um, you know, making smaller movies and, and, you know, that might be a little rough around the edges, but, but getting, you know, larger pieces done and getting them out there. And I, I think, you know, that aspect was, was missing a bit from, 
from a film school environment.